All right, today we're going to do a lesson on special right triangles, perimeter and area, and we're going to focus on 30, 60, 90 right triangles. All right, before we do that, we're going to talk about just the perimeter and area of a triangle in general. So I have a right triangle. Before I find the perimeter, I have to know what all three sides are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the third side of this triangle. You can pause the video, see if you can finish it yourself, and then check your answer. We're looking for the hypotenuse. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. C is equal to 13. Now that you know all three sides of the triangle, you can find the perimeter by just adding up the three sides of a triangle. So the perimeter for this guy is going to be 30 feet. I'm going to find the area of the triangle. We use our area formula. One half of the base times the height. The base and the height are going to be the two sides that meet at 90 degrees. Okay? So it's going to be 5 and 12. So one half of 5 times 12. So it's one half of 60. So the area for this is going to be... 30 feet squared. Coincidentally, they're the same number, but this is feet to the first power, feet to the second power, so they're not the same. So try our second problem here. Hit pause. See if you can solve that problem. Okay, welcome back. Here is the solution to that problem. First thing we have to do is find the missing side using the Pythagorean theorem. There are all the steps. Third side is going to be 15, and then use my perimeter formula and my area formula. So the perimeter for this is going to be 40 centimeters, area is 60 centimeters squared. All right, so let's try the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. You have to remember the relationship we talked about the other day in the previous exercise that the hypotenuse is going to be twice as big as the shortest side, which is across from the 30 degrees. Okay, we then have to find the third side. So we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to do 4 squared plus b squared equals 8 squared. See if you can pause the video at any point and try it on your own. b is equal to the square root of 48. We do not want to use decimals. We're going to simplify radicals. What's the biggest perfect square that goes into 48 from that chart that we were using of perfect squares? 16, 3 times. Base is equal to 4 root 3. So if we want to find the perimeter of this, we are just going to add up the three sides. And Algebra 1 says we can add like terms. Like terms would be the numbers that do not have the radicals associated. So I can add this 4 plus that 8. That's going to be 12 plus 4 root 3. Okay? Feet. Should be in parentheses because this feet goes with both the 12 and the 4 root 3. Area. 1 half base times height. 1 half of 4 root 3 times 4. Okay, and we have to use the lesson we were doing where we we're squaring radicals. You can multiply the outside numbers times each other. So 1 half times 4 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and then numbers that are inside the radicals by each other. You only have 1, so it's 8 root 3 feet squared. Since this is only one term, you don't need parentheses, but if you want to put parentheses in there, that's perfectly fine. All right. Now let's see if you can pause the video, see if you can find the missing sides on this right triangle, same way we did in the previous lesson. Okay, glad you're back. Remember that your hypotenuse is twice as big as your shortest side, just like it was up here. So now we're still going to do the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 12 squared equals 2x squared x squared, that should be in parentheses, 
plus 144 equals 4x squared. Subtract x squared from both sides. Divide both sides by 3. x squared equals 48. x is equal to 4 root 3. It's the same thing as right up here, coincidentally. So I'm going to skip that step. So this is 4 root 3. And this is twice as big as 4 root 3. So 2 times 4 root 3. So same thing we did over here. Numbers that are outside can multiply. So 2 times 4 is 8. Numbers are inside that can, can multiply. There's only 1. So that's 8 root 3. So now what's my perimeter look like? 12 plus 4 root 3 plus 8 root 3. Algebra 1 says I can combine like terms. They look like they are alike. So my perimeter is going to be 12 plus 12 root 3 parentheses inches. Area is going to be 1 half base times height. So 1 half of 12 times 4 root 3. So same thing we did up here. Outside numbers multiply. So these are numbers that are outside the radicals. 1 half of 12 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And numbers that are inside the radicals, there's only one. 24 root 3 inches squared. Okay. Okay, let's try this triangle here. See if you can pause the video, find the missing dimensions on this triangle like we did on the previous exercises. Okay, remember the hypotenuse here is twice as big as the shortest side, so it's twice as big as 6 root 3. 2 times 6 root 3 is 12 root 3. You're doubling the number on the outside, not the number on the inside. We then have to find the third side, so we're going to plug that into Pythagorean theorem. 6 root 3 squared plus b squared equals 12 root 3 squared. 6 root 3 squared is 6 root 3 times 6 root 3 outside times outside, inside times inside, then simplify. So see if you can figure out what 12 root 3 squared is on your calculator. 432. Subtract 108 from both sides. b squared equals 324 the square root of both sides. You always want to try that in your calculator to see if you get a whole number before you bother with a factor tree or the uh, biggest perfect squares and that's going to end up being 18. Now see if you can find the perimeter, see if you can find the area. Pause the video, see what you come up with. Alright, so our perimeter is going to be 18 plus 6 root 3 that's 12 root 3. Algebra 1 says combine like terms. So it's 18 plus 18 root 3 feet. Area is 1 half of base times height. 1 half of 18 times 6 root 3. We're going to multiply the numbers that are outside the radicals. Half of 18 is 9. 9 times 6 is 54 root 3 feet squared. Okay, I hope you found this video informative and useful, and I will see you on the next video.